Mm. It's good water. Whew. Just when you think, just, just when you think that it was all over for Nintendo for 2024, and Xbox, and I love Xbox for what they did with the showcase that Xbox came with 2024 showcase, and it was Sony. Just when you think it was all over, Nintendo drops a freaking bomb. Oh my freaking God, I just finished watching the Direct. And coming up on C, and G, by the way, that water was delicious, by the way. I am going to go into a video in my freaking impressions of the Nintendo Direct. And I'm not going to show all the games, but it's more than enough. A lot of games are not going to be talked about because there's too many games. I can't talk about it in one video, but I'm going to try to cream as many as I could possibly can. So you guys bear with me. But it's going to be a new, it's going to be a crazy video. Coming up on C M G. This is CMG. What is going on everybody out here in YouTube land? This is CMG. And I'm coming at you with another video, with an exciting video. Oh my freaking God. But first, <laughs> you know I gotta do it. I got to know you know it's coming. I am excited because as I have to pull out, I gotta pull out the goddamn shades. Because Nintendo, it's been a long time. For too damn long this has been happening. It's been a long time since I talk about you, about the Nintendo Switch. And the Switch from back in 2016 to 17 to 18, 19 I took a hiatus to 20. I'm back with talking about the Nintendo Switch. It's been a while. Now, that doesn't mean I'm gonna play these games on the new Nintendo Switch, but the games that they're showing you, I am excited. I am excited for this Direct, and when I saw what I saw, and I'm gonna talk about it, there's some good games, there's some good gems that you wanna be playing on the Switch. And first game, cause I'm gonna check my notes, see in the first games, and I'm not putting all the games in one either, but it's more than enough. The first game is Mario Luigi Brothership. That is coming November 7, 2024, this is like an RPG style game between Nintendo and Mario and Luigi and they just going in, going into different places. It's more like Paper Mario in the type of way, but it's in the RPG style form. It's coming November 7, 2024. It's a good game. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. It's not my cup of tea, but it's a game that's coming and it's coming soon. Mario and Luigi Brothership, you're going into like brothers and you're going into these different worlds. You know, you're going to have Bowser and the Koopa King and all the freaking enemies is there. It's coming and it's coming September, November 7th, 2024. So stay tuned for that game. Now, we also have another game that I want to show you also, which is part two. It's Nintendo World Championships NES Edition. This game is going to be coming July 18, 2024. It has online, it has all of the classic Nintendo games that you've grown to love. Maybe Donkey Kong, Super Mario 3, Super Mario 2. You're going to be going head to head in Mario 2, trying to make it to the top. And all of the classics games, it's the World Championships. It's going to be coming, and it's coming next month. July 18th, 2024. I am excited for the people to get their hands on Mario World Championships. I'm not going to be playing it, but it's going to be a good game. And I'm going to explain why in the end of this video, why I'm not going to be playing. Still not going to be playing. There's also another game that Nintendo is coming. I don't know much about this game. It's Forts 1 Neo Dimension. It's coming this holiday, 2024. Don't know much about it. It's another RPG game. It's gonna be, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty interesting. I don't know nothing about this game, but it's looking something that I might want to play. It's looking very interesting. Interesting, and it's coming holiday 2024. Now we have another game coming for the Nintendo Switch, and that is Memories in Orbit. This game is looking freaking fantastic. I don't know much about this game. Another game I don't know much about, but it's like a 2D side scrolling game here with this little I don't know who this creature, like a light bulb coming out. Oh, he's popping out his thing. He's like a mystical creature coming out, and he just wakes up in this world. And this enemy is it's like a 2D sky scrolling. It's a game that's pretty interesting going to these different worlds, and I'm liking what I'm seeing for um, memories in orbit. So you're going into different, like colorful worlds. You're jumping around, you're zapping these people, shooting, killing those people, and doing all kinds of things. And you know what? It's coming to the Nintendo Switch, and it's coming in 2025. So if you're looking for playing a game like this, stay tuned for memories in orbit coming 2025. Now we got another game called Disney's and Our Solution Island. Now this game has all your favorite characters of Mickey Mouse, Daffy Duck, and all this. Mickey Mouse is like a, like a four 
beat em up sky scroll you go into different worlds it's a classic game it's coming it's actually it's a free update coming right now for the Nintendo Switch. A solution Allen. It's a free update coming later today. Actually, right now, it's coming to the Nintendo Switch. So that is Disney and Illusion Agent. Check it out. Now we have another game called Looney Tunes Wacky World of Sports. Wacky World of Sports is coming in the fall with Daffy Duck, Bugs Bunny, Bugs Bunny, Bugs Bunny. Yeah, I always used to say that. Porky Pig, all the classic things, Tasmanian Devil, Road Runner, all these, and you're playing basketball, you're doing all kinds of sports, tennis, soccer, you name it, you're playing it, football, and you got animals being dumped on you, you got all that, and they all going up against each other, with long, we're starting with Bugs Bunny, Bugs Bunny, Bugs Bunny, Looney Tunes, Wacky World of Sports is coming this fall, now we have another game called Among Us, you are Among Us, is coming among us has a new update coming up it's one of those free five dollar games that everybody plays among us that you're playing all your favorite characters and it's a brand new update coming for the nintendo switch and it actually is a free update un unknown update so you can check it out today right now among us now you have a game that damn it damn it god damn it one of the best classics is coming and that is donkey kong country hd donkey kong country hd donkey kong returns and boy I have enjoyed this game back on the Nintendo Wii and speaking of Wii I think the Nintendo Switch is coming for that not only going to be the best selling console but you won't see why but Donkey Kong is back on HD and is on the Nintendo Switch and this game is supposed to be having 80 freaking levels the graphics has been updated is in HD format compared to the Wii version it's going to it's looking good this is one of my favorite games I had on the Wii and I enjoyed it and Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong is going into different 80 different worlds also you're going to be getting not only that you're going to be getting the levels of the ds version of this game as well so this game is i'm looking forward to seeing this game it is coming january 16 2025 on the nintendo switch you know what the direct is really knocking it out the park i'm liking these classics on the nintendo switch so far i'm liking what i'm seeing i'm hearing right now so so you're gonna check it out next year 2025 january 6 and now we we got another game which is number nine you got dragon quest dragon quest 3 hd 2d remake is coming november 14 2024 and this game is looking freaking good it's looking pretty good you have dragon quest it reminds me of octopath traveler the art style is just like octopath traveler if you have know anything about octopath my people if you know anything about octopath it's looking freaking good it's looking freaking fantastic octopath traveler this game is looking good and not only you're going to get dragon quest 3 the HD remake, but you're gonna get Dragon Quest 1 and 2 HD remakes. So, you know, you got a treat for those that like Dragon Quest. It's coming November 14, 2024. So get ready for that. Now, this is another goddamn classic is coming in, which I go with number 10. It's Luigi Mansions 2 HD is coming this month on the 27th, June 27, 2024. Luigi's Mansion HD. So those that enjoy Luigi's Mansion on 3DS is coming. The classic is coming back and it's looking better than ever. Luigi's going through the cat through the house the pookie house trying to find his brother mario he's mario is missing so he's trying to find him a game trying to get out of get through these ghosts the game is coming and it's looking really good i'm glad nintendo's bringing it back luigi's mansion is coming and it's coming soon in a couple of weeks stay tuned for luigi's mansion 2 on the nintendo switch now you got metal slug attack reloaded right now it's coming out right now metal slug reloaded that old classic that old classic metal slug anybody that knows about Metal Slug it's an old classic it's looking good and it's a reloaded and it's coming out it's right now right out right now right now right now get it right now on the Nintendo Switch those that got the Switch get it on right now man get it right now and it looks like you're gonna be playing online modes I'm thinking it but you can pick all these different characters it's looking really good man and I'm liking all the battles around the world it's online matches and everything so you get on get your buddies playing guys from Europe from Europe all the way from Asia to Europe to United States all over it's available right now right now pick it up we also have the darkest dragon Dragging. The Darkest Dragon, The Darkest Dragon, The Darkest Dungeon 2 is also coming July 2nd, July 15th, 2024. I don't know much about this game, but the game is looking pretty good. It's a classic game that's been out on even, I think on stage, it's on all kinds of consoles. I never played it. It's like a RPG, like a side-scrolling RPG game. I'm not into these type of games, but it's looking pretty good. The meltdown, you can see that you're going through these different areas and you're just slicing them up. The game is, has great review scores 
so you can check that out and you can check it out coming in a few weeks we also have nintendo's expansion online nintendo's expansion online has zelda link to the past it has games like zelda link to the past it's a perfect dark oh my god Torah dinos dinosaur hunter metroid zero mission so you go especially perfect dark perfect dark let me tell you something i've been just talking about perfect dark coming to back to on xbox one perfect dark is rehancing but you got the original perfect dark from rare this is the game that started it up that started it all and it's looking good and it's an expansion pack and boy you're gonna have boy oh boy you're gonna have something online and it's gonna look good you know it's looking good for you can check it out right now nintendo inspection pack online and it's coming you can check it out right now now coming up next you have the one and only capcom capcom marvel versus capcom fighting collection it's coming to fall 2024 you have x-men versus street fighter you have games like marvel versus capcom 1 you also have marvel versus capcom 2 you battling it out all over the world for supremacy you also have it's so many great games marvel versus superheroes x-men versus street fighter the Punisher. So you have like over seven games coming through Marvel vs. Capcom the collection. Man, I don't know. Somebody told me why this didn't come to Xbox. I have no idea. Somebody that I know, but it's coming on a Nintendo Switch, and this is another classic from Capcom. Remember, Capcom and Nintendo always had a great partnership for years and years and years. Even at its worst, Capcom always supported Nintendo, and I respect Capcom. I respect you, Capcom, for what you did, for sticking with Nintendo. You know, you got to stick together. And it's coming. The Fighter Collection is coming, and it's available 2024. It's coming. Now, we have, I'm not really into this game, but finally, we have Super Mario Party Gemery, and it's coming out October 17, 2024. This is supposed to be the biggest Mario Party game yet. And you know what? It's finally goddamn time the damn game has online. It's been a long, too, way too long that a Mario Party game has not online. People have been asking for this for a long time, and Nintendo is finally delivering a damn Mario game with online, a party Mario game. And it's going to be, it's got rainbow, you got all different types of areas. It's the biggest Mario, and you have racing. You can race people from all over the world. It's looking freaking good. Good, epic, and I'm liking what I'm seeing for Mario, Super Mario Party Gemery. And, and once again, it's coming October 17, 2024. The biggest Mario Party yet. So stay tuned for that, my people. Lord have mercy. This game right here caught me off guard. This game, Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. The wisdom, the echoes of wisdom. And it's definitely, and it's coming, it's actually coming pretty soon. September 26, 2024. This time, not only that the fact that Link has been banishing, Zelda Link has been sucked into the abyss. I don't know where he has, he's been sucked into this different world. And it's up to Zelda. This time you play as Princess Zelda and you have the power of the wand and you'll be able to take anything that you can shoot from chairs, from beds, Anything, anything, enemies, and enemies could be your friend. You could kill the enemy, and then your enemy could be your friend. Anything, and you could take blocks, and it could take, anything goes in this game. So whatever, it's, it's a puzzle game, so whatever you not want to get over the, over the mountain, you could take bricks, whatever you imagine, and you can use those bricks to do. This game is looking fancy. Ah, damn it. I don't even know how in the hell is Nintendo doing this. Y'all explain to me in the comments, how the hell is Nintendo pushing this old, uh, the old goddamn old ass Z, um, I don't understand, man. Like this damn, this this damn Invita, this this Z. I can't believe it, man. They just still pushing this damn hardware. I'm, I even forgot the damn name of the damn hardware. You serious? But they are pushing this damn hardware. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. They are pushing the freaking hardware of this. This is this is amazing, man. The te that damn Tegra X1. I can't believe they still able to do it, man. Tegra X1. Now, in another game, we have Just Dance 2 2024 edition. You can pick that up October 2024. You already know what to expect from Ubisoft Just Dance 2025. I had to put that in there because I respect Ubisoft games. But you could put that, check that out October. Now, we have another game that's coming out that you know, I had to drop it in there. So it's Lego Horizon Adventures. Lego Horizon Adventures looking pretty good. This game is going to also have online co-op. It's going to be surprisingly all I call it. It's coming this holiday 2024. And you going in this world, it's looking pretty good. You go into different worlds, hitting the people, shooting people, jumping on borders. It's a side platform game. It's in, in the Lego. And it's looking it's looking fantastic. I don't know how they, uh, they're they still doing it. Nintendo is just, uh, I don't know, man. Like, I don't, I don't even understand how they even doing this but
but Nintendo is just doing it, man. Like, look at this, man. These Legos are doing everything. It's just, it's just amazing, man. The Lego game looking impressive. I'm impressed for what it's looking, and this is something that you might want to play. So check out Lego Horizon Adventures online. Coming holiday. 2024. Now we got another game that I did not expect. I did not expect to come to the Nintendo Switch and that is Stray the Cat. Stray. This is one of the best games that's been made. Don't sleep on this game. All you people that own the Nintendo Switch, because I still own it, don't sleep on Stray. This game, you are in this world. You wake up, you fall into this abyss. You wake up into the strange world of robots. They are trying to get you. They don't know who the hell you are. You fell into the abyss. You wake up, you wake up into this new world. You don't know where the hell are you. Where you are, you you're trying to escape, you're trying to, and then you end up, you have to save the entire world, this underworld that you are in. And all these different creatures of robots is looking at you. They don't understand you. They don't understand cat. And they just, you have to be able to navigate through this impressive world. And I don't even know how this game is to end up on the Switch. It's, they are really pushing the hell out of the Tegra X1. They have really, they've stretched. They have completely stretched the Tegra X1 to its limits. That gets to its beyond limits now. Now it's getting ridiculous. And the game is looking actually impressive. Stray is looking and it's coming this holiday 2024. So stay tuned for this game. If you want looking to play it, I will get on it right now on the Nintendo Switch. Now we have the game Romancing Saga 2 Revenge of the Seven. It's coming October 24th. This is a pretty looking decent RPG game. I'm liking it. And Square Enix is known to making. They are the makers of Final Fantasy. They are a legend. They are uh, the, the best of making RPG games. They're one of the best. Square Enix is the best. This game is looking good. It's looking really epic. Epic, and I'm liking what I'm seeing out here on the Nintendo Switch and it's just you fighting all these different battles you launch uh, different attacks you have all the different attacks you fighting with the girl great gamers you have frontations you have all types of characters and yes and you have timeless battles you have all kinds of it's just amazing like I'm just seeing this you got underrated United attacks and all that but you know what I'm just gonna say it. it's coming October 24 stay tuned for romancing saga to revenge of the seven my gamers this is the uncore of everything the last Last but not least game everybody's been talking about and I had to see it. It's Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. Oh my freaking God, man. When I saw this, I said the game, as you see right now, Samus, just throw it out the way. This game, it looks incredible. How in the F is they able to push the Tega X1? This game, like Super Metal Day said, this game is using witchcraft. They're using some kind of witchcraft. Rachel Studios, you get a bow. I'm glad that Rachel Studios was able to bring this game back. They're using witchcraft. It doesn't make no sense they're able to pull this off. This is freaking crazy. How is they able to pull this freaking game off? Metroid looks in freaking incredible. I mean, I cannot wait to play this game on the next gen hardware. I'm not gonna play on the Switch, but that game looks freaking incredible. Oh my God. Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. I am so excited for gaming right now oh my gamer i'm shaking because i don't know what the fuck is going on with all these goddamn games man god damn it man you see my eyes metroid looks freaking impressive on the tagger if they're able to pull this off on the goddamn tagger x1 that game looks crazy what you think they're gonna do on the new nintendo switch hardware Woo, man that's all, that concludes all of my Lieutenant Direct. What I think about the Lieutenant Direct and what I give the grade, the grade that you're gonna get for this Direct, cause I've been real harsh with Nintendo. I've been real mean to Nintendo lately, man. I was on Game of Dad saying I was gonna give it a C or an F. Anybody that says that give it an F is out they freaking mind and they got psychological problems and they need serious help. And mad as I am because they haven't had Harper. Even though I don't, they don't have a Nintendo Switch Harper, the future is Nintendo is right there the next against Microsoft. So Microsoft and Nintendo is right there. There. They both got something great to offer. I can't say that they have a better uh, how hard I'm um, throwing than Microsoft. They both got great games to offer. I think all the consoles are did great. But the grade that I'm going to give you, Nintendo, you get a grade. I'm going to give you an A. This one. You get an A. You get an A because you showed Metroid. You showed the new Zelda. You showed you bring back um, Luigi's Mansion 2. You know what I'm saying? You bring back Donkey Kong. You got a lot of crazy games. Stray. You got a lot of great games up in there. You got Me Marvel vs. Capcom. You get an A. That damn Metroid Prime looking impressive right now. Imagine when it gets and they known to making great games. Rachel Studios is not. It's looking good now. Wait till they bring the damn new hardware out. I like the Nintendo Direct and um, it's my impressions, man. So I hope you guys enjoyed my impressions. It's a long 
video. Let me know what you think about this video, man. Let me know what you think about this video because I'm telling you, my people, I'm excited for games, man, as I said before. And uh, I'm excited. And all I have to say is everybody out here, you to let it sound off in the comment section and tell me what you think about this dang on. Nintendo Switch Direct because I'm, I'm happy. And don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe to CMG. And to smash this like button, smash the subscribe button, hit the notifications if you want more videos like this as you've seen today. I'd like to thank you for all of the support. Thank you. And I got more dope content on the way. More streams, more anything. I'm just so happy for games. Yes. And Nintendo thinks to bow. They're the best to ever do it. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to say this one thing. Nintendo's going to outsell the PlayStation 2. It's over. With those games that they show, it is over. Nintendo's going to eclipse Sony. Nintendo's going to be back on top. Once again, they have been down for nothing. Sony's been ruling for a long time. Nintendo is back, and they're going to be back on top again. I'm so happy about that. They're about to eclipse the PlayStation 2, without a doubt. It's over, man. PlayStation 2 is about to get taken over. But Switch is going to overclip, overtake the Switch. It's too. And that's all I got to say. And thank you for all the support in the group. And I'm going to say peace and keep it gaming. Peace!